Well, he only had a minute of screen time, but I, I hope you did catch John Wayne in there as one of Barbara Stanwyck's conquests. Back with me to talk about Babyface and the impact it had on John Wayne's career is Wayne biographer Scott Eyman. Now, how did he feel about, about having small parts in movies like this? I think he felt it was demeaning. He knew he could do better than this, but this is the business he was in. This is, this is the situation he found himself in. You have to remember he had a difficult childhood. Uh, they were lower middle class at best. There was not a lot of money. He never would have gotten into college at all if he hadn't gotten a football scholarship because there was no money to send him to college. And when he messed up his shoulder and couldn't play football, he lost his football scholarship and had to leave college. So money was always scarce in the Morrison family. So he didn't come out of a situation where he ever felt he could walk away from a job. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was not an actor when he became successful. He was not an actor who would wait around a year or two for just the right script. He regarded himself as a working actor, and if the script that presented itself wasn't great and he wanted to go to work, he would take the best script he could find at that point and work on it mm -hmm. and try to make it as, as something worth doing. But he wasn't going to sit around and wait and wait and wait for just for perfection because he didn't believe in perfection unless it was John Ford on the other end of the phone. Right. And he also had a family to support. He and always, he had a family. He, had, he always he, had a wife and He had kids. a wife and the kids arrived regularly. And he, it was the pit of the depression, and he had to put food on the table. Mm -hmm. It was he, he took his responsibilities seriously. Mm -hmm. He had a very philosophical attitude about all that, and he tre and perhaps as a result, because he'd been treated badly, really badly, uh, he was he he had a, a a surprising grace about him in dealing with people. You know, he he wouldn't he would go out of his way not to hurt somebody's feelings, and this is so and someone who he'd never seen before and never would see again. Right. You know, and there's that line, the character is what you display when you think nobody's looking. Yes. You know? And he had a lot of character in that respect because yeah. he, he treated strangers very well. You've got so many good, interesting stories in your book and with us, and I'm so glad you're going to be here all week. Excellent. Look forward to it. Okay. Well, Scott and I are saying goodbye right now, but we're going to be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern, as I say, to talk more about John Wayne and specifically John Wayne and the films he made for the great John Ford. But in the meantime, Movies with the Duke continue right here. But next, for an interlude, we have a documentary about censorship in pre-code Hollywood, the pre-code Hollywood of Babyface, and it has a lot to say about this movie we just showed. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, early Hollywood policies are explored in the documentary Thou Shalt Not Sex, Sin, and Censorship in Pre-Code Hollywood. Then star of the month John Wayne hangs up wires along the telegraph trail, and the Duke steps into the ring in the life of Jimmy Dolan. Gregory 